Welcome back. We are entering a new month. Welcome to March 1st and we are going to go ahead with a beautiful blessing. And Godfather has been talking about happiness and contentment for a very long time and the sequence of blessings is also going in that way. So let us see today's blessing which is all about how to balance out between serving the self that means having connection with God, taking his love and power and peace from him and then serving other people or that means giving it out to other souls. So taking and giving. If we ourselves had that within us, 100% then we would be gods, right? But we are not. So we are receivers and then we are the ones who are transmitters also. So God here says, may you have the fortune of happiness and constantly experience bliss and entertainment in Brahmin life. Brahmin life means somebody who's following Adam or Brahma. So Adam was created out of God's own vision and we have to follow that vision. God says, the children who have the fortune of happiness constantly swing in the happiness and they experience bliss and entertainment in their Brahmin lives. Bliss and entertainment, everything, whether it's a bad scene or a good scene, for a Brahmin it will be a neutral scene and for in every kind of situation it will be like, wow, wow, oh wonderful, oh wonderful. There's something, some benefit even in a loss. Even in a delay there's something good. God then says those swings of happiness will always be constant and stable when both the ropes of remembrance that is I the soul connecting with God and service are tight. So it's not just that you take and take and take from God and use it yourself and not give it to your own brotherly souls. So God will also say okay he's not giving enough so he has this much of a limit and I'll give him this much only because he's not sharing it with his own brothers and sisters. So he says, even if one rope is loose, that means you are taking, 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 but you're not giving. That means two ropes are supposed to be tied, right? So as to be in a swing. So if one rose, rose, rope is stronger, but the other one is loose, when the swing swings, what happens? The one sitting on the swing will fall. That means we'll fall in our own situations. We'll fall. We won't find methods of coming up in life. So if we are not serving others, we won't find out different angles and areas of how people can face issues. And if those issues are faced by us, then how do we take care of them? But when we are serving thousands of people around, then we know each each soul better. We understand how many varieties of souls are there, how many situations can arise from different minds. So you become more wiser and wiser. God then says, therefore, keep both the ropes strong. That means taking power from God and giving it to others and you will continue to experience entertainment in what in this Brahmin life that means you meet up different people different souls you give them the beautiful knowledge and they love it and they'll enjoy it and they'll be thankful to you and grateful to you and your relationships will be beautiful so you're making everybody enlightened so the darkness around you is going to go away God then says when you have the company of the almighty authority and the swing of happiness what could be greater fortune of happiness than that you have both you have almighty authority also and the swing of happiness because you are remembering him and also doing his work, sharing the love and peace and knowledge with others. Beautiful, isn't it? You can learn the same method in Brahma Kumaris. Otherwise, we are living without his power and also without giving to others. We are only taking and taking and taking. That's where we feel lonely. So to learn more about it, do come into Brahma Kumaris and learn this beautiful art. Om Shanti.